Welcome back to Mauro's Films. Today we are entering a category of products that it's aimed to scale up your whole production to a new level. As you know, I have reviewed a lot of smaller size on-camera monitors, the OCTech G7 included. And you can find them all linked in the description so you can check them out. Today we have a bigger monitor for your production. The OCTech LCM 156A 15.6 10-bit monitor. And this monitor is actually on sale at 30% off until November 19 of this year. So don't miss this opportunity, check the first link in the description if you want to get this monitor and actually check the specs and all about it. I got this monitor with a complete kit. The V-mount battery option and the convenient carrying case that acts also as an outside monitoring sunshade combo with the C-stand mount on the bottom. This is a great amazing way to use this monitor, even not having to take it out of the bag and still get all the functions and the connections on the back side. This monitor represents a wide color gamut screen up to 10-bit color and matches perfectly my Sony A7S3 that I'm filming right now. The resolution is 1080p with a contrast ratio of 701, so it should please everybody in this price range for this kind of monitors. Let's go straight to the connections and in and out ports that this monitor offers. Firstly for the power. In this interview I used a 99 watt V-mount battery with already included V-mount battery plate. And after about one hour I had around 60% left. So with a 99 watts hour battery you could get up to 3 hours with the backlight at 100%. If you use some higher spec batteries with a higher wattage you could end up to using this monitor 6 to 7 hours without any problems. Another great way to power this monitor is the dedicated AC power input. You will get also the cord. The third way is you can actually use DC in XLR 3 pin 11 to 7 volts connector and get running really smoothly. On the left side, you will find the dedicated video inputs two SDI in ports, one SDI out port, one video in port, and HDMI in port that I am using with my Sony A7S3 with the headphones, monitor jack, audio in option and dedicated USB port for loading your specified camera loads or if you don't like actually the already included pre-installed one. The USB-C port will be also used for firmware updates. Under it there are two RS485 RG45 connectors, support cascade connection and IMD remote control. On the top of the monitor you will get a sturdy handle for carrying the monitor around and actually to adjust it to your liking. Let's get now to the front side of the screen where all the magic happens. You will get a couple of dedicated buttons, shortcuts and functions buttons with the power button. There are some quick button choices like backlight, sharpness, brightness, contrast, saturation and volume. Pressing OK you will enter the menu system giving you firstly the status display and the signal input format that's receiving. You will be able to configure your input sources and turn them on or off depending on your need, selecting the signal format, color range and color matrix. The great color management tab will allow you to turn on some of the pre-installed loots. There are some of the standard ones like from Ares, Reds and the S-Log3 for my Sony A7S3 that works perfectly. You will be always able to load your dedicated loot file from the USB and load your favorite loots in the monitor. Changing the color space with the gamma and color temperature also included. On the user configurable buttons you will be able to assign dedicated functions and buttons when needed. The most important thing, configure your audio source, set the markers, aspect markers ratios, center marker, area, crosshatch and more. You will be able to select the waveforms, scopes, histograms and put them on your dedicated screen size. Turn on your focus assist level, color and the picking amount. False colors with the zebras and levels included. In the end you will find the status monitor settings. You will be also able to configure a key to lock all the functions set. Select your aspect ratio from your anamorphic lenses to your anamorphic ratio. As tested 178 degrees angle view will give you most flexibility of any shoot. 
As per today, this monitor for the discounted price of 30%, you will get it for $769. And you can't ask anything more for a monitor that does all the same, just like other branded monitors that are three to four times more pricier than this. We were using this monitor in an interview setup and we were really pleased about the colors and actual screen size giving us a great monitoring feedback. I will be using this monitor in my next shoots, so I will be making maybe an updated video about it with my whole complete setup that I am using for my TVC and commercials. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.